Pisces Singles, welcome to beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico. This is your Meet the Soulmate Singles read for the end of November time frame using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. This is an eight card read. I say it's always positive because it's simply asking spirit to help describe the one that's right for you. That's all I want to do here. So if you see a Three of Swords, no one's breaking up for you. What I'm doing here is just describing their personality, behavior, maybe some personal history, get some stories they might tell. Um, look at the intellectual aspect, mental, love, spiritual aspect, and uh, Venus energy, and to the core values and lifestyle, more practical aspects, the four pillars of uh, what I call uh, relationships so just eight cards two cards for each of those and um, <clears throat> if you haven't checked out the soul family read would you I'll put a link in the description to this one it's uh, more about spirituality manifestation see if you want to be a part of that. just a collective read for whoever resonates this very specifically is meant to uh, describe the one that's right for you I think there's a quiver of them out there uh, and we're kind of just asking spirit load up the next bet one that you think is the best one to do the soul work with here. And I think relationships have to learn anyway, so I don't know. I don't know that there's just one. And let's look at this one. Four Swords. This is in their emotional aspects here. Pull two cards. We're going to have the Four Swords over the Three of Wands. Here's where I see the Moon energy, the Childhood energy. Page of Pentacles and the intellectual energy over the Knight of Cups. I like that for them. So the childhood, think of you know, we tell each other our stories. That's often part of it. The big focus for me on my fourth house energy. As an astrologer, instinctively before I even knew what I was doing, I immediately went and looked at the when I started reading, it's, oh, well, we've got to look at the IC, we got to look at the childhood. And, um, but I think they did very well for themselves. I think their story is with the Four of Swords here. I also get the moon here. The healing moon. Gemini. Yeah, Libra moon. I think they're going to have a Libra moon. So the story they're going to tell is they helped their, a parent. They had a parent um, um, that was disabled or often sick. I mean, I'm, I'm getting physical, kind of. You know, could be, uh, you know, how it goes with the mental part. But I don't really think that. And I don't think this was like a horrible thing or ruined their child or anything like that. It's, it's part of their dynamic story they're going to tell you. Um, they, they, um, spent a lot of time, um, uh, well, spent a lot of their energy, even as a child, kind of naturally concerned about their parent, like how, you know, uh, they would be like maybe constantly checking, hey, how you doing, mom, how you doing, dad, are you okay, you need anything, yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright, and even like the parent, I get to feel, might have been like kind of aware, like, that's kind of uncool, but, so they, a lot of times, maybe the parent was often sucking it up, I'm good, I'm good, when they maybe really needed something even. So there's a little bit of a, a dynamic there. You know, and with the three of wands, it kind of does imply like they probably have a single parent. You know. And their Libra moon, it might be in the third house in their natal chart. I just think with this three of wands, it's uh, very busy. I wanted to say Gemini moon because it's busy. So you put it in a third house, that could do it. Um, something like that um, and now over here with the page of Pentacles over the Knight of Cups that's where I'm going to see their intellectual energy God we just had a Virgo but that's a uh, page of Cups I mean here this implies a Virgo Sun to me oh, Libra Moon ah yeah um, Knight of Cups Hmm, they may have their Mercury and Cancer though. So I think we're looking at a Virgo Sun with a Mercury and Cancer and a Libra Moon. So in terms of their personality, um, 
And now I'll throw in here the Cancer Mercury. There's someone that's very caring. You know, again, we're looking at this childhood thing, so it's something karmic. You'll see that. I love to do this kind of work as an astrologer. With the parent, it'd be amazing to look at their the synastry chart. Um, uh, but so it's in their nature to caretake. Um, they, if they're not an only child, then they're in, uh, the eldest child of two or three uh, siblings and then it, a little bit more complicated they would have really been the caretaker maybe of a family as a child so they have that with them um, but I don't know that's maybe for some <clears throat> but there's definitely that energy of taking care and um, there's someone that's very careful they're very modest um, they might be a little bit basically kind of insecure. They're basically, they're very genuinely humble, really sincere. I mean, um, now this is your soulmate, so it's not, uh, they're not perfect, you know, but this someone, you know, you could the handshake deal with them. Uh, they're not gonna tell, this is one of those Virgos that's not gonna tell a lie. I think the fact that they have Mercury in um, Cancer and it's looking away over here um, into the reading, not really a way, it's looking into the readings, looking over at Mars into the love and uh, uh, sex aspect, and then I'll do the core guys and lifestyle. Um, so they're probably not the, the Virgo that's the, the classically critical. It's like, well, why do you do that? I want you to do it this way, and you do that, it's wrong, and no, stop, let me show you how to do it. Um, it'd be more. Um, kind of self-sacrificing, um, unassuming, humble kind of energy, uh, similar to what we had before with a Virgo. Um, and then, phew, it's a Libra Moon. Yeah, I don't read the bottom of the deck in this reading at all, guys. So, sexual position, King of Swords. Hmm. And the Moon. It's going to more show the um, Mars energy. So, uh, Mars and Cancer, I think we can say. And then for their Venus, this has got to be uh, Libra Venus. And then you have uh, their Venus on the Moon. You know, and the Venus and the Moon go together so well. It's that feminine energy. Um, but I said the third, they might have their Moon in the third house. Another thing that could do the same thing is if they had the moon in the first house, which would make more sense if they had Venus in the first house, too, um, for them in their natal chart. So if you had Venus and the moon conjunct in the first house, um, it might kind of get where I'm going with their energy. Um, you'd think it'd be more about caretaking for them, but they may see that as their identity, is that they're, I am the one... Really, this Knight of Cups says, well, I am the one, because this is Mercury. I'm the one that takes care of people, you know. Uh, we'll see what they do for lifestyle, but, you know, nurse, EMT, social worker. Um, sometimes it's kind of energy you can end up being a cook. But with the Libra Mars and the Cancer, with the Cancer Mars and the Libra Venus, um, this lover is going to be all kinds of giving, all kinds about you, um, uh, submissive. It might surprise you, though, with this Libra Venus, I just because it's the King of Swords energy. So the Venus has some power. Not It's not in a bad way. That's a good thing about Venus. It's exalted, the minor, uh, benefic. Um, it's usually not going to, you know, if you give it some power, it's not going to go crazy with it, do something bad unless it's attached to Pluto, and here I see the moon. Um, so I think it'd be very sincere about their feelings of love. Um, and this could be someone, as a man or woman, they could be prone to even crying after sex. And I, this, I see the Knight of Cups looking at the moon. This is that Mercury um, that I said is in Cancer. Um, it, sex would be really important to them, be something they need with this Cancer Mars. Um, and with the Libra moon, it'll be attached to, you know, connection and relationship. So they're not the type of person that's probably going to have, uh, be promiscuous with their relationships. Um, so they probably have, won't be telling you a story about having a lot of uh, 
partners here. Um, they're sincere, and I think it, we'll see what they do now with these next two cards, but they would be someone that would be an honest broker, a good worker. There's, they can bring an egolessness to what they do, and definitely that'll be like they're, how they're going to be in a relationship. If you're on a date with them, I mean, they're really listening, really listening, really caring, really show, wanting to show back to you that they understand and they connect with you. I think connection might be a big theme with this person. Maybe that's the word for this person. I'm starting to think of like a word that goes with each person most. And for this one, connection. And look at this, thinking about the connection, right? In the Ethereal Visions deck here, um, this card really emphasizes collaboration. And I always think of it as the good worker card. It's kind of perfect here, being at their core values and lifestyle, often we'll see their work. Um, but so they I mean they're really collaborating there. So I mean this fits their personality perfectly So if you just take everything I've been saying now move that over to what are they going to do? Venus is often can relate to our work uh, Energy seventh house energy can so um, They could just move that right over into work. Like I said be a caretaker um, There's someone that can really focus too on what they do so they may have gone into a uh, corporation or something or, or maybe a field and kind of work their way up into it and whatever they do it involves a lot of collaboration they, they maybe have a, um, a network that they uh, are in it could even be a professional network that they're in uh, maybe that's how they get their uh, do their work and the six of Pentacles the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So this to me is like a self-made man, self-made woman. Uh, this person, you know, they, they weren't given a lot to start out with, and a lot of us weren't. So er everything they have, they got on their own. And so that's definitely a story they're going to tell you. Um, they, um, they don't mind to collaborate. And with the Six of Pentacles, man, it just fits so much with the look at the, you got the scales. Um, you may have a person here who actually ties a part of their uh, salary, their earnings. Just came to me. I mean, I don't know if anyone even does that anymore. I mean, like officially, like they look at their earnings and go, okay, well, I'm going to give uh, this amount of money, uh, which is however much 10% of my earned income to something they believe in, you know. Um, in terms of the house, they're, they're labor, they're really going to want to work together. They're going to want you to want the same house that they want. I think it's going to be important to them. They'll be kind of a nuts and bolts kind of person. Um, you know, they're going to want a home um, that feels like safe to them and solid and secure. I think with their energy and the Libra moon and Virgo, um, it won't be, they won't have to have a really nice house and it won't be like so focused on, uh, um, you know, every little detail of it, like you might think of Virgo. But, you know, they'll be very sensitive uh, that wherever they live has an energy to them that's kind of a high vibe energy um, and makes them feel good. Uh, and they're going to want us to feel safe there too um, with this Cancer Mercury and Cancer Mars. Too. And um, I think like uh, most of their emotions is really going to be around sex. Like um, you don't be surprised if you just find them like not that emotional in general, you would say. Uh, but when it comes to sexuality, that they you might bring them often to tears, guys. So let me know what you think of this. Um, it's a predictive read, so someone might not be in your life just yet. It's the end of uh, November time frame. So coming up, do let me know if you run into them, guys. And give me a like, thumbs up, share if you can think of any platforms where this might be appropriate. If you would share, help me out. And do subscribe, you know, and hit the bell. Thank you, guys.